Hey guys and we're back today with a tutorial on how to make a basic web scraper and we're going to use our web scraper to pull our external IP address. So this is not your internal LAN address, this is your external facing router address. So basically what I've done is I've started a project as usual. Um, I'm not going to bother changing the form name um, because there's no real functionality to that. Um, what you're going to need is a memo an edit, uh, an edit box, and a button, pretty much. And similarly to how our web browser worked, um, we're going to do a get, and we're going to dump the code from the page into our memo. So we need to quickly rename these. So this is URL edit. This is page memo, and this one is get button. And so what we're going to use is we're going to use a uh, ID HTTP. So you can just dump one of them on the page. It doesn't really matter where you dump it. And we're going to click on our get button. And we're going to go to our ID HTTP one dot. Come on. And we want to do a get. Um, and we need this will return us, I believe, a string. So what we're going to do is before this, we're going to do a uh, page memo dot lines dot add. And we're then going to put this. And then because we just deleted all of our thing, we're going to, have to do an ID HTTP one dot get. And this is something that you we'll see from time to time this function return can return several different um, values. So we're just going to use it as a string return because the function that we have is a string. Um, but we also need the URL that we want. So the URL we want to go to is our edit our URL edit dot text and Basically, what this is going to do is we're going to check to see if our if URL edit dot you check with the note you can't check the link dot text and then what we should do is we're going to have to encase that in length I hate when that does that. Is greater than zero. Then we're going to begin. So basically what we're checking is to see whether our URL is greater than nothing. We don't really want to search nothing. All we're going to get is an error. You could, in theory, do it less than, what, five characters? HTTP dot slash slash or HTTPS dot slash slash. Um, and that's pretty much basically it for our web scraper. Um, I'm trying to keep these as simple as possible, so we, we're going to play it and we're going to make sure it works first. So we have here in our little box a method of checking your external IP address, and we're going to click our Get button, and lo and behold, here is our IP address, or well, here's my IP address. So it works. It works as a scraper. Um, it's just pulled the page, although we are going to quickly edit a few things that I've noticed. So what we're going to do is when we get to here, we're going to do a memo, we're going to do a page memo dot lines dot clear. Just like so. And then we lose any contents that may have been in the page from previous. So now if we do it. I paste the URL back in. Yep. 
So every time we do it, we get a different address. We'll get the same address, our external address. And it's pretty much it really. Um, it's that simple to scrape a web page. Um, you simply get the text, chuck it in here. And if you really wanted to, you could use a if position um, and a copy um, string and then a certain position and you could copy out like you could copy out just the IP address instead of all the gibberish with it so something you can do if you get a bit of spare time but I uh, wanted to do a web scraper but I wanted to keep it simple enough that anyone could follow so I hope you guys enjoyed this it's not a very long video but it's something that's universally useful so until next time guys I hope you enjoyed it Hey guys, uh, if you're interested in any other YouTube tutorials, if you want to uh, get Delphi for free, that's this side and subscribe button in the middle and on the other side is something you might enjoy as well.